Hi, I'm Kim. Now, I want to talk to you quickly about stitch length. If you are a beginner in, uh, in sewing, sorry, a beginner in sewing, um, the stitch length may be very confusing. Even if you've been stitching for just a little while, you may still be wondering how to use that stitch length to the best advantage in your sewing or quilting journey. So let me switch, switch cameras. And, and if you're wondering about my husky voice, it's because I've had laryngitis and I lost my voice, which was probably great for my husband. Not so great for me. Not so great for recording YouTube videos for you either. So let me talk about stitch length, what you need to be looking for on your machine to find it, first of all. So it doesn't matter whether you have a manual or um, a computerized machine of any kind. Um, so like mechanical, mechanical, mechanical is when you have the dial and if you have computerized, you have buttons to push, okay? Either way, you're looking for the symbol with the little dashed line, the one that goes from a small dash up to a larger dash. So on your computerized machine, there'll be a button and it is normally set at 2.5. Don't worry, I'm going to explain this in a moment. So that's where it defaults to. With your uh, mechanical machine, you will have a dial. So there's your dial. And then it will say, it, you have your stitch numbers. They don't relate to anything particularly, but number six would be a little dotted line. Number seven would be slightly bigger. Number eight would be a bit bigger still and so on. Your numbers are likely to be different, but you can see here that we've got a little small, tiny dotted line up to a larger stitch line. So that is what you are looking for, either on your mechanical or your computerized machine. But what does it mean? So this figure here, okay, um, and you need to find it on here. Normally it's the sort of the medium, sized stitch length, but I'll show you how to work this out. So this number here, the 2.5, relates to its length, which is millimetres, all right? So for those who have got a mechanical machine, what I suggest is turn your dial round to this medium size and just run a couple of pieces of fabric underneath it, just normal standard weight cotton, just stitch a line and then measure it with a ruler. Nothing more complicated than that. And you'll, you will find what length that is. So that will be useful information for you to know. And if you did that with all your, your the stitch variations that you have, it's good for you to know what each of those sizing is, okay? So let's come back to what this sizing is and what does it mean for your sewing? So that 2.5 millimeter relates to the stitch length from the moment it enters your fabric to the moment it leaves your fabric. So this is my, if you watch me for a while, you'll know that I'm incredibly bad at drawing <laughs> and they're very simple. So this is the edge of your fabric. I know it looks really thick, just bear with me whilst I explain this. So your needle, your sewing machine needle comes in here, okay? And it enters the fabric here. And then that's where your measurement starts. So your stitch has to go down, it has to go along, and it has to go up and leave. And the length of that is 2.5 millimeters. So if you're measuring it, this bit here and this bit here are so tiny that your this will measure your 2.5 millimeters. Okay, you with me on that one? Now, what happens if we have a thicker piece of fabric, all right? Say you're going through four layers or say you're quilting, for instance, but either way, you're going through thicker fabric or more layers of fabric. If you've still got your machine set up as 2.5 or this medium weight, your machine is still going to do that 2.5, but this time the needle will come in, it will pierce the fabric, your stitch will come down and then it will go, oh, well, I've used up quite a lot of my 2.5 and I've only got a little bit to go. So I can only go along a little bit and come back up again. So that stitch length at the top, that becomes small. <laughs> okay, so when you're stitching along and you're, you haven't changed this at all, you'll get teeny tiny stitches or small stitches. And the thicker the fabric here, 
the smaller and the teenier, tinier these stitches will go. So what's the answer? Yeah, you've got it. You've got to increase your stitch length. So let's just take this piece here, okay? And let's just increase our stitch length to, let's just say it's 3.5. That's what we've decided to increase it to. Now your needle comes in, it pierces the fabric, it comes down, the thread comes down, it goes along a little bit and comes up. And you go, oh, look, it can do a nice even stitch length. Perfect, that's what we want. But don't go anywhere yet because this gets just a little bit more in depth. So your 3.5 here, let's just say we're over here on our standard um, thickness of fabric. If we take our 3.5 and needle is gonna come in, it's gonna go down and then it's gonna go along a bit longer this time because it's got 3.5 millimeters to play with and it's gonna go up. So if you want, so, so this bit here will be longer. Why would you need that? Well, if you wanted to do any kind of decorative stitching or a bit of top st stitching, sorry, my voice just went there. If you wanted a bit of top stitching, then you might want a longer stitch because it shows up a bit more and it just looks a little bit better. If you are quilting, you definitely want to go for a longer stitch length because you've got more layers to go through, but you want your quilting lines to show up as well. So that's where we would start increasing our stitch length. So any time you've got thicker fabric to go through, increase your stitch length. And the opposite is kind of true. If we were doing a really thin fabric, so thin fabric, <laughs> we would go down a little bit. So maybe we'd go to a two because we'd have a normal size stitch length going across the top, but we've got really thin fabric that's underneath our machine. There's other things we have to change as well. We have to change our needle signs. So watch out to the end, because I'll post up uh, the video I did on needle sizes. That's really important, depending on where you're going with this. And you need to think about the type of thread. So again, my, <laughs> my video at the end will explain that to you. But I wanted to explain this about stitch length because it's really important. And I see so many people making the mistakes and I don't want you to make that mistake. I'd really love you to get some nice even stitching um, on, your, on your stitch lines, whether you're sewing clothes or bags or uh, your quilting, you stick to your, your standard. So standard is 2.5, but if you want longer stitch lengths or you've got thicker fabric to go through, then up your uh, stitch length. It might not be 3.5, you might need to go to four or 4.5 or whatever your machine goes up to. And if you are going thin, then we would go down to our, our two perhaps. But let me just explain one other thing, that if you are a quilter and you are piecing, you will notice that, let's just say you've got a computerized machine and you put it on the patchwork stitch, so you will find on your um, your patterns, the, the sorry, preloaded uh, stitches that you've got. One of them, you get a little oval, okay? Um, and you'll have a little dotted line that shows your stitch length, and it will have a little P somewhere. That means it's patchwork. And if you press the, the code for that, whichever your machine is, that'll put your needle in the correct place to do a quarter of an inch um, a seam allowance. Who knew? There we go, there's a little tip for you. Um, but it will drop your needle, uh, sorry, your needle size, your um, stitch length down to two. Okay, that's just standard. You may not want to leave it at that. You could change it, that's okay. But it does that because when we are piecing in quilting, we have small pieces of fabric and our stitch length of two will just keep it tighter uh, for piecing, for quilting, for, for patchwork. If you're making clothes or pretty much anything else, it doesn't matter. Just leave it as it's standard 2.5. But I wanted to pop that bit in if you're learning patchwork and you wondered why that happened or you hadn't spotted it. Now you know what that means and what that is about. Okay, so I hope that helps. If you have questions for me, please ask. Don't be afraid. 
and um, just pop a comment below any of my videos and I will answer the question for you. I do this for all of my students, whether you're in my Facebook group or on here, I will answer your question. I hope that's helped explain your, um, your stitch lengths for you. Use all of this when you're sewing. It makes it a far more pleasurable experience. And isn't that what we want? I hope that helps. I will see you next time. Bye for now. I hope that's helped.